Hello. This picture is very special to me, and I will try to tell you how it came to light. First, I would be very grateful if you could let me know in the comments if you like me telling you the stories behind each painting. I like to talk a lot about my paintings. I love to talk about how I paint as long as there is someone to listen to. I don't have any problems talking about it for hours. I love painting as a process, I love it as an experience. For me, painting is first and foremost an experience. The end result is not essential. It's very nice when I finished painting, and the painting has become beautiful. Now that I have been painting for more than 20 years, it is easy to get the painting right. Once upon a time, the result was not like that on four paintings one if going I read it turned out fantastic. So I would be grateful if you would write and let me know if you are interested in me talking about painting to you about how I feel about painting as a process. To talk to you about how the paintings came about and their stories. This painting was not meant to be in this intense blue. It was supposed to be a very gentle lyrical painting, as I had painted a lovely peaceful painting the day before with very gentle hues. I really wanted to continue this process of gentleness to become a series, but some events happened this morning. After waking up, which changed my emotional state very much, I no longer felt so calm harmonious. Basically, when I wake up in the morning, I always quote this helps me to calm my mind. When I go to paint, I am significantly more harmonious and better connected to my own emotions. I will make a digression related to emotions. It is essential when you paint, to be honest. If you are trying to create an emotion that is not in you, it will be false to the audience. Initially, your friends and family and, further on, your acquaintances and clients. And hopefully, your audience will expand a lot over time. They will sense when you have been sincere on the page, when you are painting from the heart, not the soul. When you don't create your own emotional world, it is felt, but very, very strongly, and many people enter into artists who paint for years enter into a trap they decide. If you paint something cheerful, something optimistic will be bought. It isn't. People don't buy joy. They buy sincerity, and the public enjoys not positive emotion, but honest emotion. I've fallen into this trap, too, when I've had fewer clients. It has been very important to me to sell a painting, and I have thought if I now paint love on the page. It will be bought if I paint a happy leaf people will like it, and they will like the painting. The picture is more than otherwise, but it doesn't happen that way. I always like honesty. Only then do you make a connection with the true artist in you. Otherwise, things go wrong. You are recreating a false emotion that they are not experiencing, and that false emotion. I would be very interested in you writing in the comments if, but also if you have fallen into this trap of fake paintings. The audience just doesn't like it, and as time passes, you also stop liking these paintings because you will like yourself sincere and honest. Do you paint, honestly? Do you like to express your deepest self on the street, or do you just like to reflect reality as it is? Email me in the comments for many people. Reality is a very essential nature outside the children's game dedicated to the sun. Many people like to reflect on reality as they see it. It is more important to reflect on the inner reality because it is much more enjoyable. It's much richer. It's much more beautiful, and when you use the outer reality to recreate the inner, it becomes very beautiful because the reality itself, the one outside of us, has its own charm, and when saturated with our emotional spirituality, then something wonderful happens. If we are honest in what we are doing, even if the picture is not technically perfect. Even if you have not managed to create the perspective of the houses most perfectly, even if the flower is not painted precisely as you would like to be able to paint it. If you bring honesty to the painting with feeling with emotion using the reality around us, all will be well. From the beginning, when I painted, 
I thought the most important thing was to paint with excellent technique. It turned out that it didn't matter at all. When it is saturated with emotion, even if the technique is not good enough, the painting attracts the most perfect technique. The picture is painted perfectly in technical terms. If it is not filled with content has no meaning. But I am a mold, and I threw laughing an awful lot. I was talking about this painting. This painting reflects a transformation that happened within me that I created on the page. I don't even think the picture became what it is consciously. Rather the dynamic I painted about the movement of the boat, the clouds, the tilt of the boat the sense of direction for change. It happened by accident. I wasn't thinking, I just saw that what I had originally intended to paint wasn't going to work. I didn't have the balance I needed and started painting what I felt. That's how this intense blue emerged, which, at least in my opinion, has a powerful inner dynamic. These clouds appeared that feel like they were moving on leaves. The boat floating on the wind and the many possibilities is how I felt then and the way you painted this picture. Write me in the comments about how you feel when you paint. What do you feel when you paint? Is it necessary to you to create what you feel when you paint? How much do your emotions control your brush stroke, and how much do you paint what you set out to paint from the beginning? Sometimes even from the day before, I would be very interested to read.